Are you ready for this sickness? Let's get into it! <laughs> What's up guys? So this is going to be another uh, grading type of video. So there's going to be a couple parts, I think. Uh, but this part is kind of the base elimination. So I have about 20 comics. I'm going to look at them real close. It's not going to be double ma magnification this time. I'm going to do it just with my eyes. Um, and I'm going to show you why I eliminate some books and why I keep them. What I intend on doing in regard to if it needs a press or whatever. And these are going to be the books that I'm picking and why to send to CGC. So it's mostly a grading video and why I pick certain things and why I don't. So I'm going to switch cameras now. I'm going to take this camera off and uh, we're going to get into it. And you'll hear me discussing things and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy. I hope maybe you learned something. Um, and we'll do this journey together. So let's go. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I gotta fix this camera and then we'll go. That's what she said. There you go. So I have this here. Um, I think I flipped the camera. I don't know why the resolution's so bad. But we're going to figure it out before it's too late. Okay, so I'm looking at it, but I flipped the camera so you can see. Let me turn that light off. There's a weird glare. So I'm going to take these out of the bags and boards one at a time. So this is Venom number three, third printing. Uh, first appearance of Null, but it's a third printing. It has Null on the cover. So I'm going to look at each book individually, okay? Let's see if I can get better light. Oh, I see. There you go, might. Okay, it's a little dark, but we'll see once I get the bag out, or bag off. Okay, so the first one, come on, come on, Baba. All right, so basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna look down the sides of the book and look for spine dings. I don't see anything. There's a little something right there, but it's not a ding. Oh, a little corner issue. I think it's okay. The front cover, honestly, is really nice. And it is clean. Now, a lot of people make the mistake to not look at the back cover. And that's where most of the imperfections lie. I gotta admit, this book looks pretty nice. I think I can escape with a 9.8 on this um, without doing anything to it. It is really nice. There's no imperfections. So that one, just got to double check really fast. This one's passing the test, okay, for the... the looking directly at it with my eyes. Now, a lot of people say, why aren't you using gloves? Well, you know what, I wash my hands really good. I've never had a problem before with fingerprints or anything like that. I would say if you're doing a foil book or something like that, yeah, use it. Um, so that one passes, so I'm gonna put that one over to the side. Now, let's look at the other one. Let's see if we can find imperfections and the other one, I don't remember. Um, I have two of them, so there you go. Okay, so first off, there is, let's see if I can do this for you. There's a little bit of lift. See it right here when I press down? See that little like bend there, right there? And it's lifting up, you know, they could use a press. But, you know, honestly, I think it would sneak by. And then I could press it and try to get it out. It's You see a little bit of roll and there's something, it's hard to see probably, 
right here. I want to get the light just right. You see it right there. It's like a little ding. So in my mind, I immediately say 9-6. Immediately. Okay, and then there's a the problem on the back. So there is, this might be harder than I think to show you. Well, you can kind of see right here, like a little bit of a crease. That kind of goes all the way down. So I would still say this is like a 9-4, 9-6, but that is not going. That one does not pass the test. So we're one and one. Okay. Now we have these two books. Silver Surfer Black, number two, one in 25 variants. Now the reason I'm sending this in is because I believe personally, that it's the first full appearance of whatever you want to call it, Silver Surfer Black. I'll show you. And dude, he's dope, dude. So it takes him over for a minute. He's like a herald of Null. Um, so I think that's a key. But this book, there's a little ding right here. It's so white, it's hard to see. Um, let's see if I can, okay, if I hold it just like this, I'm creating a mild pressure you can see there's a ding and a ding. So even with a press, I think, and it's white, I don't think I could fix it. So that one's not going. I mean, I still think it's probably at nine, two, nine, four. Um, it's probably higher. And I've seen CGC give nine eights on stuff like that. But I am i don't play that game. I don't take chances. I might take a couple chances, but not that. Let's check out this copy. Yeah, this one has just, yeah, the same spots. There's the stress. There's, uh, you can see it right now, just one's there. One's there, one's there. Um, I think a press could probably fix that, but I'm not taking that chance. That's a higher grade copy though. So that's easy. That's an easy way to remove. For me on the newer books, I'm not taking a chance. Now we have the first print of Venom, first null, and then the first sleeper variant cover. Um, so let's check that out. Let's check out Venom. I have a bunch of Venoms. There's probably a reason I didn't send this one. I've sent a bunch already. Um, There is a little something right here, but you can't see it. Not that bad though. Oh, here's all the problems. Right here. See it? It creases. So that will not, oh, that's a way better light out there. That will not make it, just no way. I might be able to press it out, but I'm not gonna waste my time. I can play around with it later. That's what she said. But it's not worth sending and paying all that money if I'm not pretty sure I'm getting a 9-8 on it, you know? These are all good books, though. And we have Venom First Host number three, First Appearance of Sleeper. But it's the variant cover. so far 
don't see anything. The light you're gonna see. I don't see anything on the spine. I'm telling you, they just look here. They don't really look like I thought they did. Unless it's a super big book. Let's check the back. This is one of those, there's a little bit of roll here. I think what I'm gonna do is, I think this is at least a nine six to nine eight. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little quick press. Just a quick, quick press. So what I'll do is I'll write it on the bag. I'll replace the bag later. But just to remind me, Maybe do a quick press, get rid of that minor, minor, minor roll. And I'm talking minor, because this book is clean as a jelly bean, as I like to say. Just put a uh, quick pro quo. No, that's no, print, quick press. Okay. And that's that. I think this book is ready to go. I think it would probably get a 9-8 either way, but I want to be safe. So now we have two, two books that I, I like so far. Okay, let me get some more books. So I've already pre-graded this. This is a 9.8. Wiz bought this from me. He said, next time I send a CGC, send it with it. With him with it, he'll pay all the things. Um, I don't have to look at this book. It is a 9.8. Edge of Venomverse variant cover. Number three. Um, I think it's like the first Venomized Ghostwriter. And then I was, this is very interesting. So I've talked to multiple people from CGC and they, all give me different answers. And I got this as a gift, which is so awesome. I so love it. Um, this is the 1998 Action Comics number one reprint. It has this like thing that goes over the cover. It's got a stamp. It's a reprint of Action Comics number one. Now, it is sealed in a poly bag inside this. Now, if you've ever seen slabs that say poly bag removed and graded um, you see that a lot so I called and I said do I need to remove the poly bag and they're like yeah and I'm like well I don't want to and I said if you have labels that say poly bag removed then do you have labels that say was still poly bag he couldn't answer that question so I said this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna send it with instructions if you have to unseal it then you do that but if not I want it slabbed in the poly bag because it is perfect you can't call it not perfect in the poly bag. I mean, it's it's beautiful. So regardless, if they undo it, at least they're taking it out of the poly bag. But I'm hoping great things for this. There's a little something here on the flap that goes over it, but the comic itself is underneath. It's fully protected. And I'm really excited about sending that in. So that one's going in no matter what. Okay, now, these two. Okay, we have the Year of the Villain, number one, one in 500 variant, and you have Black Cat, number one, Virgin Archer. So let's look at these really close. So this is a 500 variant. They were 25 cents each, so times 500, you know. Now, here's another thing. The bag, just to show you, let's show you something. The bag has some messed up stuff on it here, like it's... Bent. So I'm going to get a whole new bag because I don't want to take the chance of it ruining my book. Which it might have already done. Okay. About this right. Most of these are about from the store. Now you can see because of the cover, it's kind of... Uh, there's some um, waviness. 
Now, there is waviness, but there's no spindings or issues. There might be a little scuff right here. You can't really see it though. Let's check the back. The back's really nice. So what I'm gonna do is, that's I believe is a 9.8. So, but you can see the waviness. See how it goes? I can press that out with ease. I just have to be really careful. The waviness is from the, I guess the ink on the cover. So again, I'm gonna write on there quick press. I'll probably do a cold press with no heat. Cause I don't wanna, the shit will stick together. I'm gonna put quick press on the new books. That's what happens. So this one's definitely gonna go in. I'm just gonna quick press. Now, I'll probably do a video after pressing all these books to see the differences on the ones I decide to submit. But for right now, I'm showing you what I'm doing. Because I think it's important that if you don't know, you know, learn something. And that is what this channel is about. Okay, next up we have the Black Hat number one. This is a 1 in 200 variant virgin cover. Now, I remember what was wrong with this book. We're going to pull it out and look at it. That's what she said. Take a quick look. Okay, I can already see it. Right there. You see it? There's a ding. Now, it is not color breaking. So, I am hoping and praying that I can press that out because this book is clean. Let's check out the back. Okay, there. I, this is going to be a test for sure. There is it might be hard to see but I can see it right here. Right there. Up, oh, see? I think I can press that out. So this one is on the fence, okay? So I'm gonna press it really good without heat, I believe, and see if I can't fix those imperfections. We'll take a look back at it because if I can, oh, I think that goes all the way through the book. That crease goes here too. It's not a crease though. So let me see if I can't save that book because I would love to get that slabbed. Quick press. This one is a, on the fence. The other ones are for sure, okay? Let me get the rest of the books. So we have Miles Morales number 13, which is the first appearance of Miles' sister. And we got first Jenica, first uh, Turtle. Um, we're gonna find out. Let's start with Miles Morales. Now you notice I didn't open the books, because I don't think that I gotta be honest, I'm not really worried about the interior on the new ones. Okay, I already see one little issue on this. Okay, so this was going on with uh, Marvel during that print run. There was these really scuffs on all the back covers. Scuffs. There's some roll there. staple There's something going on internally on the book which is unfortunate you also have a little bit of some problem here you can't really see it now the book is great don't get me wrong but it's just this weird staple issue which creates like a little bit of a lump first appearance right there 
Um, so I'm not going to send that one in. It's a great book, but I don't think so. I'll just keep it for my collection. I might play with the press on it later. Which is unfortunate. Next up we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 95. You're gonna see like a little bit of waviness because of the 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 paper. Yep, there's a little bit of a lift right here, like a little bend. It's not breaking. I could probably press that out. There's a minor ding right here. You're not gonna be able to see it, I don't think. Uh, yeah, you can. Right there. Which I think I can press out as well. The back is good, but it looks like there's a little bit of a... I don't know if that's ink. It's like a little scratch. Which you probably can't see. No, you can't see it. I don't know, I might throw this one in the press and see if I can mess with it a little bit. Because I really want it. This is the only copy I have of this book. That corner is the main issue. I don't know, for now, I'm just going to say no on this. And we'll do that another time. Um, this is for what I need to submit. Okay, now we're going to start getting into some older books. First appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, Silver Surfer number 44. I have two copies. I'm not really caring if they're 9 eights or not. I just want them to be solid copies. So let's take a look. I'm most likely going to press these older books. On this one, I put two dings, 9294. And I pre-graded this a while ago. So we're going to show them. Yeah, there's like a little ding right there. I wish I could get the camera closer for you. The white, you can see how the color refracts right there. Um, and there's one right there. A little color right there. Uh, I don't care though. <laughs> Uh, the back's good. There's a ding right there. And there's a little uh, color bump there. Looks like there's like a little line going down. It's like a printing thing. I'm going to press this book and hope for the best. Um, it's definitely in the nines. Um, and with the press, I'm hoping to get better. And it's just that simple. I want a slab, some slab copies of that book. So let's check out the other one. This one I had in a Mylar for a while. The same book. Well, different book, but let's see if it's better. It's funny that the book has the same problem right here. It's just a little ding. Otherwise, a little something right here. I have this on my Harley book, too. Let's see. Oh, it disappeared. It's like a little imperfection. I think this book is a higher grade, though. And so I'm going to press this, too, and send it in. So, you know, two chances. My guess, I'm probably going to get like a 9294, and then I'll get a 9.6. Uh, just because it's old, and they 
They're not going to give me a 9A, I don't think. Which kind of sucks, but whatever, dude. It's a key book. Okay, now, I have two bigger books that just came out. I believe it's the first appearance of the Herald of Lightning or Thunder. Uh, Thor number one. This is the premiere variant right here. So it's two per store. And then this is the one in 25 variant, which I really love. Let's take a look at these. I'll show you really quick what I believe is the key. And of course, we'll probably say cameo or some crap. But I'm pretty sure that's a first full. Herald of Thunder right there. Last page. Okay, let's take a look at the book. There's something on the corner up here. It's it's you see it in the light. It looks worse on the camera because of the shadowing, but I've compressed that out. There are no spindings. It's kind of a sharp corner here. Otherwise, this book looks really nice. So this is getting a quick press and we're just to fin fix that little corner to push it down. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Sick. So I'm putting quick press on this. Now also, when I'm done, I'm gonna change the bags again. Cause I don't want them to get the book bag and board at CGC and go, oh, this has been pressed. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I think at worst nine six, but I'm going for that nine eight guys on a two per store book. That's a pretty low print. Now. This one. God, I hope this one's good. I love this one. Same book, different, one in 25 variant. A lot of people are saying that their stores have these damaged. Now that corner is good. There's nothing wrong with that corner. There's a little bit of a, a white here on the corner, which is normal for Marvel books. they'll see this there is a spine uh, right there see I'm pushing down on it so you can see so you can't see it right there if I push down you see it I don't think I can fix that I still think it's a 9-6 for sure everything else on this book is good man Looks like there's that same thing. Oh, yeah, that's the same one. I don't know. I, I'm going to try a quick press on it. If I can't get it out, then forget it. But I love that cover. Classic homage, dude. Quick press. Now, look, I'm trying to get 9.8s on these new books. So when I say quick press, I'm trying to fix that little problem that would have made it a 9.6. Now, that might slip through the cracks too and get a 9-8 all day long. So is it worth it to try? I don't know. What do you think? I think so. Okay, we have four more books left. Let's get the first Hobgoblin and the first Gambit. Now I know these books have issues, but they're not too bad. I will be pressing the older books, so keep that in mind. Let's start with the first Gambit. I mean, it's, it's pretty nice, but they're tough on those big books. So, I mean, it's not super big, that's what she said. There is... Right, you see it there and there. Now, I already knew that was there. So let's just say 9-4. I'm going to get them out. I'm going to press it and try to get it out, okay? 
Otherwise, the cover is looking pretty good. The staple looks a little interesting here. I pushed it back in. <laughs> That's not good. The back cover is very, very nice. So we have those two dings. Let's look at the interior, white pages. Let's find that staple and see what's going on in there. It's okay. So let's just say 9.4 for sure. I'm gonna press it and see if I can make it better. There's our only two problems with those two little dings. And maybe a little loose staple, maybe. I hate when the staples are loose, you know what I'm saying? Okay, another one, classic. Hobgoblin, Amazing Spider-Man 238. Now, this one has the stamps. Let's take a real good look. Okay. We're going to see how they grade it, but I don't know yet. I want to get it slabbed, though. It's decent. Um, there's a ding. Try to press that out. There's a couple dings, but mostly by the staples. Um, you're going to have a hard time seeing it, but they're light dings. There's just a little bit of something there. And then you got this little tear. It's not a tear, but it's, yeah, it's a tear. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little cut. Back cover is clean. There's just one little spine stress right here. Um, and right here is a little tick. You can barely see it. You can see the spine stress going on. But I don't know. I'll check it out. We'll see. We'll see how hard they are. It has, see, it has the tattoos in the front. And on the back so that's why I have to send it so I will press it and see what I can do mostly I'm concerned about the little minuscule like cut okay I have two more books hang on Okay, I have um, First Appearance of Vox Supreme, 1 in 25 variant, and the star number one, 1 in 25 variant. Just thought maybe I'd check these out. So let's start with the star. Findings. Okay. There's a spine ding right there, and it's a pretty decent visual one. I've seen people get away with it, but I'm not going to attempt it. There's another one right there. It's, 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 I would say it's reasonably, it makes it a 9 6 for sure. You see it now in the light? I'll go like that. It's right, right there. Watch. So that's a 9.6. I will not be sending it in. I don't think I can get that out. I still think it's well, it's a good price. It's a good book to have and not, not cheap, but there's no reason for me to attempt it. Now I have the first appearance of Vox Supreme. I feel like Vox Supreme was in the Inhum Death of Inhumans. Maybe that was just Vox. I don't know. Mmm. There is a line. Oh, you can see it, damn. It's it's all the way. I 
like it was some book, something was sitting on it. It's a crease. Besides that, we're good. This is one where I would press to try to get the crease out. Everything else on this book is great. But you see that crease? So, I'm gonna write on here. I might as well go for it and try because that's a pretty cool cover. Quick press crease. I always write my little instructions and stuff on it. Take that, put it in here. All set. All right, let's talk about it really fast. Let's do a quick summation. I know this video is kind of long. That's what she said. Hi. Look at the old hipster Billy boy. Okay, here we go. So this is what I've decided and will Okay. This one is going in. I'm pressing it and it's going in no matter what. Okay? Same with this one. Uh, yep, this one too. I'm pressing it, it's going in. I'm pressing it, it's going in. She said, just no, regular presses with humidity and all that good stuff. This one is going in without a press, it's perfect. Okay. Without a press going in, I think it's good enough. All right. This one is sealed, and we'll see what they do. This will be very interesting. This one's getting a quick press, and we're going to find out if I could fix it. This one's getting a quick press. Same thing. Finding out if we can fix it. Same with this, same with this, and see if we can get the crease out of that. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve books. If the presses work on the newer books, it'll be a total of twelve books. Now I've passed on eight books. Which are all great books. We're passing. They're, they're fine, they just have a little ding or something. Passing, unfortunate. Passing, passing, pass. Pass. These are all good books, man. Pass. And we're going to try a quick press on this. I decided to add this one. So at, I'll, I'll probably do one more video after, after I've pressed it to see if I made them any better. And then I'm going to send them in. Okay? So I hope this video wasn't too boring. I'm going to let you go because it was a long one. That's what she said. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to use any of these coupon codes, go ahead. It's all there for you to use and abuse. Please check out this sick video next. And again, please hit that like button, throw a comment down, and please subscribe. Love you guys. Stay sick. See you later.